Hi guys, this is Naresh. Welcome back to my channel, Technical Talks with Naresh. Today we will continue with the HCM data load series. Okay, so previously I had already prepared and uploaded the part one for the HCM data loader in which I had told you that how to create the file to load the data into the Oracle Fusion by using the HCM data loader. In this part two, I'm just going to tell you that how to import that data or how to load that data into the fusion instance okay so for this we need the file that which we had prepared in our last video okay so please go through that video if you had not seen so before starting i just have to tell you that if you are new on my channel and you want to learn the oracle fusion please go through all the videos from my oracle fusion playlist which will help you to learn the oracle fusion if you have any doubts any questions you can just write me on my email id which is in the description and about section of my channel. You can also write on the comment section of this video or any video. So seeing this concept practically, I will just go to my Oracle Fusion instance home screen first. Okay, so now I am here, my client groups, and I'm just clicking on the data exchange. So it will redirect me on this page. Okay, so in our last video, we already seen this two concept that is in recent file uploads and the view business objects. Now we have to go for this import and the data load. So in our last video, we already created this file for the metadata or for importing the jobs. Okay, now we have to just progress this file and we have to import and load into the Oracle Fusion instance. Okay, by using the HCM data loader. But before loading this file, what I will do, I will just do some changes in this file. So what changes will be there? So here there will be a st status. So we had seen already there is a status is active or inactive. So what I will do, it is the part of that respective LOV. Okay, but I will add here uh, just a simply one. Okay, then after here as well one. So what will happen? It will fail the data load. Okay. So that is okay. So now what I am doing, I'm just changing the date as well. So I'm just not writing the correct date format here. I'm just making it something different. Okay, just for the first record only. Okay, now I'm just saving this file again. Then here all the fields which are mandatory. Okay, so some fields are not mandatory still we had taken. So there is an one more field here that is a source system owner. So what source system owner we had written here, it is we had written Oracle EBS. So Oracle EBS is nothing but the we are loading the data suppose from the R12 to Fusion. So we will give this one. If we are loading the data from PeopleSoft to the Fusion, we can give as a PeopleSoft. Okay, but this we have to register in one lookup. Okay, so if value is not registered into that respective lookup, so it will again give you error. So before starting to load this file before what we will do we will just go to this lookup and what we will add this respective value that is an oracle ebs okay so now i'm just going to front end so now i'm just going again to the home screen now here you can just click on this username then here is an setup and maintenance then click on this task icon just click on the search and search here the common lookup Okay, so here is a manage common lookups. Just open this one and just write here lookup name. So, what is our lookup name? Source system owner. So, I'm just writing like this and I'm clicking on the search. So, you can see that this is my lookup and we are having all the respective values. We are having their fusion EBS. So, these are inserted by the other people who had done this SCM data loader previously. Maybe there is an Oracle EBS can present or it should not present. Okay, so it we can check that and if it is not there, just we can just insert that one. So it is not there. So I'm just inserting. So click on this plus icon. So as soon as you click on this plus icon, this additional row will come over here. So here just give the lookup code. So I will just copy exact lookup code from my notepad and I will paste it here. Give the sequences and one. Then after give the start date so you can give any start date so it is the format m d y y y so i'm just giving as an 1.1.2023 okay then after give the meaning i'm just giving the meaning as same and description also as the same i don't need any tag so i'm not giving anything i'm just going up and saving this so click on the save and close so it is saved okay so if you have to check again so just go there manage common lookups and you can just query that one so system owner and just click on the search 
so it will come here and you can just check whatever the field we have inserted it is there or not so i just insert the oracle ebs so we can see it is or the oracle ebs and the date is also the same now i'm just going back to the home screen again so just clicking on this home button from here my clients and here is a data exchange now we have to do the import and the load data okay so i'm just clicking on this import and load so this window will come in front of you. So what we have to do over here. So before going to this window, what we have to do, we just have to go to our notepad here. So I'm just saving this one. So we have, so we are having here the active one and the date format is wrong for this respective line. Okay, now what I will do, I will just save this respective file and I will just close this file. Now what we have to do, I have to just create the respective file as a zip file. So I'm just going here, say into and here is the zip. I'm just making the zip file of this. So you can keep this file name as an a job dot that only. Don't change the file name anytime. If you want to change the zip file name, then you can change this one. So I'm just changing the zip file name. So I'm just writing here instead of job, I'm writing job import now what i will do i will just go to again fusion instance screen so here is an option that is an import file just click on this import file so one pop-up will come in front of you so from this you have to browse the file so here is a local file by using local file we have to do this so i'm just selecting that respective file so this is my file so what i will do i will just select this file and here are the parameters so we have to keep the same parameter as it is we don't have to change anything okay so just submit this one so what it will do it will submit some process so process is nothing but the one zero this is the process id or we can say it's a job id so click on okay so once you click on okay you will come here okay so there is a no process till now just click on refresh just click on refresh again so you can see job import process which is started and import status so you can see that import status which is in progress okay then load status load status is nothing but the not ready okay so i'm just clicking on refresh again so it have to error out why it have to error out because we had given some wrong inputs over there so i'm just refreshing again and again so you can see my import status is error out and load status is still is not progressed why it is not progressed because import is error out okay so let's check for the message so we are having here the message what is the error message for that so i just click on that message and i came on here so you enter the date for the attribute attribute is a date format so just i'm clicking over here again so we can see the respective error message completely so you can see here you must enter the date format effective start date attribute in yyymmdd okay so this is our mistake so what we have to do again now so i'm just going here now i'm just changing this format okay i'm just correcting the one error only because they had given only the single error so now i'm just correcting this one so it is corrected now that is an yyy mm and dd now i'm just making the zip again so what i will do i will just go to this folder again i will delete this existing zip and I will make this zip again. So what I will do uh, again, I will send to compressed. So it is made and I will rename it again. And I am just making as an underscore one. Okay, now what I will do, I will again go to the Fusion instance. I'm going back to the screen where we can just load this respective data or import this data. Okay, so you can see the previous job, job import, which is import status is also error and the load status is also error. Now again, I am clicking on import file, then choose that respective file, then choose this file. We don't have to change any parameters. So I'm just directly clicking on the submit now. Okay, so you can see one more job ID is progressed. So I'm just clicking on okay just do refresh over here so you can see my second file is appear here job import underscore one dot zip again i am refreshing so it will take some time to load the data or import the data so you can see that import status is completed you can see okay now load status is there but we are having some 
issue over there already that active flag why that active flag is not captured into the import error because it is not the error means that format is not errored but that status while loading it is it will give some error because it is checking into that respect to lookup only okay so that's why the import is success now and it will give the error into the load status so now you can see it is errored out into the load now again we can see this respective message so now again i am clicking on this respective message so we can see the detail message over here so we are having the two different line and it is showing that the active one value for the active status attribute is invalid and in that respect to LOE it is not exist so that's why the error is there so you can do one thing you can modify that LOE or you can just correct your data over here okay so we can't modify that LOE because that is the standard thing so we can't touch that respect to standard thing so what I have to do I have to just correct the data so there is a two way now to correct this data so suppose I am having here only two rows okay so that's why I can just correct by using the front end only okay but if we, if i am having the thousands of rows so then what i can do i can't correct from that front end okay then i have to again do the changes in this my file and again i have to import that respective file okay now i will show you both the ways okay so before that i will show you one more thing that suppose you are having the one lakhs records you are trying to import and from that 10000 records got error out so you will get this 10000 error record so now suppose that error record you have to see one by one so you can't log in every time to the instance and you can check that so what we are having we are having here functionality to export this entire columns into the excel format so here is an option export to excel so just click on this one so it will give you one excel okay so this excel will show you the respect to error messages so I had opened this Excel and you can see the same error messages and same the respective components. Okay. And what are the respective other fields as well? Okay. So this will give you the data. I'm just closing this one. And now I will show you that how to correct it from the front end. So here just go to object details. Then click again here the jobs. Then this is the jobs. And here is the detail. So this is the hyperlink. So just click on this hyperlink. And you can see that you can see the original value and the current value so this is my original value and this is my current value so what value you can modify that are having this edit icon so we can modify this active status from the front end as well so if we are having one or two value we can just change from here only and we can just try to import it again so instead of uh, this active one i'm just removing the one and i'm just uh, doing the save okay so i had just saved that one so let me recheck again it is changed or not so i'm just clicking again so you can see that now it is active now just i am clicking on cancel i'm going back to my that loads so this is my data load screen so you can see previously what has happened so here two lines are there import success is 100 percent okay but the load success is zero percent then object count is two and both of them are failed okay so now what we have to do we have to submit this process again we had done the change for only one object so that's why it will go only one object the second will be error out so now i'm just clicking on this submit and here it will again ask for few parameters so we have to keep the default one only and just click on submit again so it will submit one process so this is my process id okay so it had submitted the ESS job in backend okay that also we can check by using this respective process id so just click on okay so now here just do refresh so you can see that input status is already green but it had load status is now in progress okay so why it is in progress because we are just retrying this one so i am just retrying this so that's why it is changed from error to in progress so just click on refresh again so you can see it is errored again so see it is error now you can see the failed record is one and load success is 50 percent because we are having the two records one is success one is fail that's why the load success is 50 percent same way we can just correct that data and just we can load again okay or we can just correct the entire data into our respect to that file and we can load it again and we can just import it again okay so that is the second way now the thing is that we are having here in our format there are the two jobs 
so this is my first job that is a technical consultant and second is a technical manager so we had corrected i think so for the consultant only so let's check that this job is created or not by using the front end so how we can check that so i'm just clicking on this home icon so that second record is error out so i think so that you can just correct out by yourself okay as i had already mentioned that how to do that okay just try it at your own now click on here the setup and maintenance and here is a task icon just click on this task and here is a search option so just click on that search option and you will come here then we are having the manage job then click on search again so click this manage job then here is a job code or job name so you can just give that respect to your job code or a job name whatever you can give so i'm just giving here the job code only and i'm clicking on the search one so you can see there are no result found means for this there is a no result data maybe which is not inserted okay so we'll check for the second one that is a technical manager so technical consultant maybe it is not inserted so that's why it is not giving any data now technical manager so now search by the technical manager so you can see that here is a technical manager is there and the name is nothing but the consultant so we can just open this one and we can also check here the name whatever we are given this is the consultant so same so this is the name column and this is the consultant now we will check that what is the effective start date first first 2023 and the same job site is also common okay so all things are good so if you want to edit something over here you can do from update here from here as well and suppose you have to do the update from this respect to that file again then you can do that one so suppose you have to do the update for this respective effective start date for this respective technical manager job code okay so you can just do all the same thing just change the date whatever you require over here you can change by uploading the same file and importing it again and then loading it again so what it will do so suppose if you are doing for the same row so what it will do it will find that if this respect to data is in the table or not if that is already there then it will just update that respective field and if the data is not there then it will insert that thing so whenever you are doing and you feel that it will duplicate the rows so it will not happen or it will never happen it will if the data is already there it will try to update if there is a no row for the updation as well so it will simply not do anything okay and if there is an a data which is not there so it will create or which will insert the new row for that so this is the second video on the scm data loader for how to import and how to load the data okay so there are many other things as well in our next video we will see that so if you have any doubts you can just write into my comment section please like share subscribe my channel thank you for watching thank you